Okay, everyone, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about more about event procedures right now. Uh, we're going to talk about event procedures, calling event procedures, creating event procedures, and then we're going to look at some form of events like opening forms and load and navigating through records and things like that. So, hopefully, a little bit more if we have a little bit of time left over so anyway without any further ado uh, we're going to cover event procedures now all like I said earlier each one of these is uh, earlier on earlier video uh, each one of these is an object okay the command button object and each one of these have uh, properties and methods things that they can respond to uh, things inherit properties about them things that they respond to which are called events so uh, let's go into the VBA window uh, by pressing alternate F11 on your keyboard alternate F11 let's see if I can, yeah I can do that okay and uh, as you can see I already put some put some code in here okay notice that up here we have all of our objects on the current form and then all the declarations or the things that they could do so if I look over here at the uh, CMD calculate I know that the things that it responds to you or that you can program for are the let's see I don't know if you can see that let's see if I can move the screen up a bit <clears throat> Again, if you didn't see it, if I hit it, uh, CMD calculate. Okay, this object, it's a command button, can respond to the click event, the double click event, enter, okay, on down through the list here. So there are quite a few things that it can respond to. And the nice thing about Access VBA is that you can, when you click on one of these, it builds a framework for you, okay? So this is actually the command 16. So I'm wanted to do the command calculate. And now if I click on one of these, it builds the framework for me right uh, right away. And I have this plus sign here. Because it may have happened. So calculate enter. Okay, so it responds to the enter event or the double click event. Okay. Now, if you want to program the form itself, and that's what we're going to look at right now. Let's see, I don't erase anything important. Let's say the form opens up, and you want to program for the, the form opening up. Okay, so we're going to go back to the, uh, the form here. I'm going to press my alternate key my tab key okay again if you didn't get that VBA window to open up it's pull down the alternate key on your keyboard and press the 11 key or F11 key so alternate hold it down and press F11 okay and that does it again okay now we're onto the uh, form here so we're going to do design view on the form and up here is a little properties little properties button go ahead and click on that you'll see all the properties all the properties for the form now uh, let's say we're going to open it okay so we're gonna yeah so we're gonna open it it's a on open and of course there are a lot of events the nice thing about this is that under each event if you look down here in the bottom left hand corner of your screen you're going to see a little bit of commentary about what it does okay so if I go here and I click on the, the form and that kind of is a little help helper so if you're confused about all these things, you, you 
make yourself look like a genius because you know what each of these form events does macro or function that runs when the form changes so go ahead you can select exactly what you want okay I'm just just going down through these events and uh, you'll you'll get to know them more as you as you become more more uh, well versed in the program right now you may use it as a as a little helper okay so I said we're gonna program for the on open event so I'm gonna double click and I get the event procedure now notice I double click uh, notice if you click the drop down arrow that's your only selection if you click the build button you're gonna go right into the VBA window I'm gonna do a just a simple thing message box form opened okay then I'm gonna save it then I'm gonna go ahead and close it and we're gonna go ahead and go back to my form here that's my form one I believe I'm gonna close the end and and then I go ahead and double click on form one and open it and that's the first thing I get is form opened okay and then it opens up so you can program for it you can have some fun uh, just kind of do some experimenting if you want and you can go ahead and, and uh, maybe you want to make a password in that box so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video we're gonna go ahead and uh, utilize that that little we're gonna utilize that open event and put a have a password form open up in uh, and before we actually see the the contents of whatever that form the displays whatever the form displays so hold on this moment I'll be right back okay hey, ladies and gentlemen back in I didn't want to bore you with all this uh, uh, programming or typing information stuff so uh, hopefully you can go ahead and type this in yourself or you can use a practical application now I'm back here again I'm using the the form open event okay I'm going back into that again I put this little rem what I call a little rem uh, rem tag in here okay it's a little posture it turns it green I take it out I'm gonna see a message boss formed open whenever I I go ahead and open up this form but I don't want to see that so I'm putting this boss for you it says don't show it basically or I can put the I could also put um, RAM in front of it and that also turns uh, turns it green different programming languages have different ways of reming out things Okay, I don't want to take all the all the different ways of doing it. Uh, now we're we we go ahead and uh, dim. We use the word the keyword uh, dim. Okay, dim or we're dimensioning a portion of memory that holds a string variable, and it's called a password. Okay, uh, these three characters in the front tell me what the data type is okay you can actually call it just password but I don't know if it's a number or if it's a, uh, a yes no value or what the answer you are it's kind of helpful okay so come up with a naming convention and uh, go ahead and use it you know what your company is going to be uh, friendly towards if you're a sole developer come up with your own convention SCR password is now going to be equal to uh, whatever you type in an input box. Okay, if this returns a this function input box returns a value of whatever you've entered, so that's going to be placed in the SCR password variable. Now, if I like this, I like the way VBA does these these these. Uh, 
if and if structures. Uh, if you look at some of the other languages, you don't have this and if, uh, like Python is. Uh, you don't have an end if here. It's just a matter of indention. Um, and in uh, PHP, you have the you have the brackets, open brackets and closed brackets. Uh, anyway, this is the this is the way you'll do it in VBA. Okay, if your password is not equal to password. Okay, if it's not equal to password forget about it this number password can you come out of a table uh, you could the, the value there could come out of a table or you can have it hidden somewhere so uh, it's always good to name it another module and just hide it uh, so that it's not obvious saying hey it's password uh, look at me uh, so if password is not equal to password then the message box pops up the incorrect password and cancel equals true. That means what cancel equals true? It means the form cancel event is true. Okay, so it's not going to open up. And that's a good clean way of of describing a or ordering the how the event how the events proceed. Okay, just cancel the whole event. Uh, the uh, the form open event cancel the whole thing okay so that's uh, and that's put in for you automatically because you're using the form open event let's go ahead and see uh, see how this works all together and comes together so I'm going back here into my into my uh, form I'm going in saving it, yes. Now going ahead and launching it. Now it's saying enter the password. Okay, well uh so right now I'm entering the wrong one as you can see. Long incorrect password. So I canceled the whole thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna close out of this screen too. Don't get confused. Enter the password. Now I'm going to enter the password password okay now it opens up so now you have a form that if you don't handle the right password incorrect password and it doesn't open up okay the user does not see the form because you didn't open it up okay the load event does not have that okay the load event does not have that we will cover the load event and the navigating records event and the delete event uh, in the next video. So stay tuned and uh, come on back and we will we'll cover those in a moment. Thanks.